All right, guys. So you saw the title, saw the thumbnail. You know what we're going to talk about here. We're here to talk about the brand new caliber that just came out this year. Federals 30 Super Carry. If you hadn't seen one, that's what the round looks like. We'll do a comparison here with the 9 millimeter and the 380 in a second. But that is your 30 Super Carry, which again, was developed by Federal. So right off the bat, one of the things that people have been saying to me or asking is why do we need another caliber if we can't even get 9 millimeter rounds right now? Well, obviously if you develop a new round, this load has probably been in development two to three years, if not longer. Uh, long before COVID probably started and we ran into any of that, those issues with the pandemic. So right off the bat, I'll just get that out of the way right now. I'm sure they didn't wake up a year ago in the middle of a pandemic and an ammo shortage and decide they wanted to develop a new caliber. Anyway, we have it. It's here, 30 Super Carry. So let's talk about it. I wanted to wait specifically to shoot this video until A, I got my hands on some 30 Super Carry ammunition, which you see here. And secondly, until I actually got my hands on a, a pistol chambered in 30 Super Carry so I can get out and do some testing on my own, uh, not read the testing and the, the articles that you know came from Federal or anybody else. Uh, obviously, I bought all of this stuff myself. We're not sponsored by Federal or anyone else. So I wanted to give you guys my honest opinion on what I think about the 30 Super Carry. So got the ammo. Now I'll show you my pistol this is the mp shield chambered in 30 super carry so show you guys that it's clear there's no mag here but this is her so if you're familiar with the shield you can see right off the bat this is the same size as the nine millimeter uh when i was in the academy i actually matched this up with the nine millimeter and the size or was identical uh, so just looking at this thing, I won't get into the specifics of this pistol because this is not a, a review of the, the shield. Uh, it's more about the 30 Super Carry. So you can see uh, the hand grip there and how thin that hand grip is. Uh, so if you shoot, used to shoot nine millimeter, you'll know right off the bat on this is single stack when you grip this, that it's a lot thinner of a profile than your standard nine millimeter would be, which is one of the pros to 30 Super Carry. So, I'll show you guys a comparison. This is Federal's HST ammo. This is 30 Super Carry versus 9 millimeter. So you can see the difference there. And we'll talk about some more of the differences here in a second, but you can see the overall difference in, in size there. And then you have the 30 Super Carry versus your 380. So you can just see the difference in size there. So again, we're here to talk 30 Super Carry. Showed you guys uh, the, the pistol that I was shooting this out of. And when we did our testing, one of the things we also wanted to do is keep it consistent. So when you watch the video that we do from the testing, I use my Candy TP9 Elite SC, which is a 3.1 inch barrel pistol. And this is also a 3.1 inch barrel pistol. So we wanted to keep everything as consistent as we could when we did this testing, um, just so we could see exactly what this 30 Super Carry could do uh, versus the nine millimeter, which is what Federal has been pushing to us for the last few months since we heard about this round. So obviously this round just came out this year. So what was the purpose behind 32 carry? Well, Federal's goal from the very beginning, they weren't looking to develop a competition pistol. They were looking solely to develop something that could be carried by the everyday user, uh, the everyday person that wanted to have an EDC, uh, which is why it got the name Super Carry. Uh, they wanted something that had more uh, oomph, more terminal velocity, more boogie, if you will, than a 380, uh, but something that also could compare uh, very equally to the 9 millimeter, which is obviously the most popular uh, in the world. So I, I feel like they, they did that. Uh, one of the obvious questions that people ask is, well, if we got the 9 millimeter, why do we need anything else? And honestly, you know, the 9 millimeter was developed, it was designed in 1901. It started being produced in 1902. It's 2022. So uh, we're many, many years away, over a hundred years from the development of nine millimeter. And I, they, Federal set out to develop a, a caliber that could compete with nine millimeter, but also had some advantages. And I feel like they did that. Uh, do I think the nine millimeter is gonna be automatically replaced in a month or six months or a year with 30 super carry? Absolutely not. Uh, it's, it's been around too long. Uh, it's, it's backed by NATO. A lot of militaries around the world use it. A lot of police officers around the world use it. So I, I don't think the nine millimeter is going anywhere now or in the future. But if you were looking to for a new EDC, if you're looking for an EDC for a, a smaller 
frame shooter or smaller shooter, uh, then definitely the 30 Super Carry is something that someone should consider. So some of the pros of the 30 Super Carry, uh, it's 10 to 20% lighter recoil uh, than your nine millimeter. Uh, I'm someone who's been sh shooting a long time. I've been shooting pistols for almost all my life since I was you know, young. And I, so I've shot a lot of nine millimeter. I know exactly what it feels like. Well, it's hollow point, 147 grain, 115 grain. Uh, shooting the 30 Super Carry, immediately I could feel that 10 to 20% difference in field recoil. It was, it's, it's real. Um, even when Zach, you know, took shots with it, when Jake took shots with it, you can immediately feel the difference between nine millimeter and the 30 Super Carry. Uh, so what they talked about as far as that being a pro, that's a real pro. The other big pro for 30 Super Carry is capacity. So if you have a, the same pistol, a chamber to nine millimeter and 30 Super Carry, your 30 Super Carry is gonna have a capacity of plus two. Uh, a lot of people say, hey, that's not a big deal, but if we're being honest, it probably is a big deal and those people are probably just being disingenuous because if you had a 45, a nine millimeter, a 380, a 22 LR, and it had a capacity for 15, you're not only gonna put 13 rounds in, you're gonna put 15 in. So, you know, extra two capacity, that, that makes a difference. So. Again, if I was, you know, looking for an EDC for a new shooter, a smaller shooter, somebody who wasn't an avid shooter and they wanted to get out and shoot, um, start shooting every day, or just having an EDC, something someone put in a purse and, and hopefully never had to use, uh, I, I'd probably go with the with the 30 Super Carry over the nine millimeter. Again, if it was a smaller shooter, someone who's who's concerned with recoil. Obviously, when you shoot, confidence is everything, and being able to shoot and uh, absorb their recoil and get back on target very quickly is, is, is super important. Uh, and it goes along with the confidence and, and being able to hit your target. So let's talk a little bit about some of the numbers between the 30 Super Carry and the 9 millimeter. And when you talk about bullet weight, 30 Super Carry, you're gonna average in around 100 grains typically. 9 millimeter, obviously you can go from 115 grain up to 147 grain, and even a little higher. But typically, you know, 115, 124 grain with 9 millimeter. Bullet diameter for 30 Super Carry is 0.312. Bullet diameter for the nine millimeters, 0.355. The muzzle energy, uh, and this is using Federal's HST, which is what we use in our testing. The muzzle energy for 30 Super Carry is 347 foot pounds, where your nine millimeters, 364 foot pounds, so negligible, really close there. Uh, your energy at 50 yards, which when we did our test, we were a lot closer. At 50 yards, we'll probably get out and do some testing at maybe 10 yards or a little further, uh, maybe 15 yards also, but that, that'll be coming. Uh, energy at 50 yards, uh, 283 foot pounds for the 30 Super Carry for the nine millimeter. Uh, it was 303 foot pounds. Uh, as far as expansion is concerned, 0.530 for 30 Super Carry and your nine millimeter is 0.571. Uh, as far as your PSI, uh, it's 50,000 uh, for the 30 Super Carry and 35,000 for your nine millimeter. Overall case length is the same for both 1.169 inches and the base diameter. Uh, for the 30 Super Carry is 345 or 3.45, and uh, your, your 9 millimeter is, is 391. So uh, that's kind of the numbers on, on both the, the 30 Super Carry and your 9 millimeter. Uh, as far as testing, let's talk about testing a little bit. So what we did is we took Federal's HST and Federal, uh, 30 Super Carry and 9 millimeter. Uh, this is what we did our testing on. And again, we use Mechanic TP9 Elite SC, which is 3.1 inch barrel. And we use our new EZ uh, MMP Shield, which is also a 3.1 inch barrel. So we try to keep the testing as consistent as possible. Uh, obviously you can't get 30 Super Carry in 124 grain or vice versa. So we shot what we had available. These are the same manufacturer, same bullet, different grain weights, uh, and the two 3.1 inch barrel pistols. And you know, when we did our testing, uh, the the mushrooming for both of these was was identical, uh, and the the 30 super carry uh, it, it it held its own. So I will show you the mushrooming. This is the mushrooming from our testing with the nine millimeter. You can see the mushrooming there, and here is the mushrooming from the 30 super carry. Really, really good mushroom in there also. So the testing that we did, uh, we did the FBI's 
uh, heavy, heavy closing test. And the test results we got were identical. The wound channels for the nine millimeter and 30 super carry, there was a negligible difference in the wound channels. Looking uh, from the top view or the side view, you couldn't tell which was which. And as far as penetration, the penetration was equal for both. So even though on paper, uh, the nine millimeter should have won an air quotes, it didn't. When we put the you know rubber to the road and we actually got out and did the testing, it was identical. You, you couldn't tell one from the other. Uh, the second set of testing that we did, we'll link to that video also. So here is 30 super carry FMJ, and here's 30 super, I mean, nine millimeter. And this is also the same ammunition, uh, also from Federal and nine millimeter and then uh, 30 super carry. So again, we want to keep everything as consistent as possible. We use the same pistols for those tests. Again, you can see the bullets here for both of those. And nine millimeter 30 super carry again uh we did the fbi heavy clothing test same distance same day same environmental conditions and the nine millimeter went about 23 inches into our ballistics gel and this is the fbi's heavy clothing test and the 30 super carry went about 32 inches almost out of the back of two blocks so initially we thought that zach may have called another wound channel so we told him to do it again we took another shot and it went about 31 inches. And we're like, this is crazy, this can't be right. Took another shot with the nine millimeter, it went about 22 inches. Took a third shot with the 30 super carry. And again, it went out, almost out of both jail blocks uh, for the third time. So the testing was true, it, it's, it's what it was. Um, and we tried multiple times just to make sure something fluky or something crazy hadn't happened. So again, when we had the, the HST, the, the self-defense round, it was identical. Uh, so you wouldn't be losing anything or giving anything up by carrying the 30 super carrier because it, ballistically it was right in line with the nine millimeter. And then again, when we did the full metal jacket testing, the 30 super carrier, which is lighter, it's hundred grain and it's moving faster. Uh, it outperformed the, the nine millimeter in our FBI heavy clothing test with the uh, full metal jacket. Now we do have to do some testing. We do want to come back and do some testing, uh, you know, some barrier testing with both of these. Obviously nine millimeter has been around over hundred years. Uh, it's done all the testing, drywall testing, uh, sheet metal testing, automobile glass testing. 30 Super Carrier is new, so we haven't seen all of those tests. So we plan on bringing, bringing you guys all of those different tests with the 30 Super Carry, uh, just to see and other, other testing and other medium, how it performs against the nine millimeter. But just an FBI heavy, heavy clothing test that we did, it performed on, on par equally. And then obviously, like I told you guys, full metal jacket, it, it outperformed. So, the test results are what they are. Again, we don't work for federal. We don't have a dog in the fight. We just wanted to bring some testing and give you guys our honest opinion. The bottom line, do I think if you have a nine millimeter, you should run out, get rid of your nine millimeter, throw in the trash and go run and grab 30 super carry? No, not at all. Uh, nine millimeter is a great round. It's been used everywhere, used worldwide by various uh, military forces, police forces. It's a great round. Uh, it's got great av availability. Uh, it's not really too punchy for most shooters, but there are some advantages to the 30 Super Carry. So again, if you're a new shooter, if you know you're buying a, a pistol or weapon for a new shooter, it's, it's not a bad option. It's a really, really good option from the testing that we've done so far. Ballistically, it was right on par with the nine millimeter, which is you know what they touted, they being federal, and it proved to be true. And again, you got the higher capacity over the nine millimeter if you have the same, uh, size of, of, of weapon so that's that's our, our our story that's our wrap here on the 30 super carry that's where we stand um i'll probably do a lot more testing really really soon on the 30 super carry because i'm intrigued by it uh, I, I like the idea of having something new having something different to use so anyway that's our video go down in the comment section let us know what you think about the 30 super carry let us know if you think you're going to grab one or maybe you're going to wait and see more testing on it or let us know if you just think 30 Super Carry is a complete waste of time and there's just no place for it. Like I told you guys earlier, I think if it was a smaller shooter, uh, I'll give you guys an example. example. Somebody like my daughter. My daughter's 5'5", five, five, uh, 110 pounds on a good day. And she's a smaller shooter. She's you know, got small, frail hands and she's not an avid shooter. I think this something like this, 30 Super Carry would be great for her. Uh, and I definitely choose that for her over a nine millimeter that's gonna be more snappy and have less capacity. Anyway, that's my spiel. 
I appreciate you guys checking out the video. I gave my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. We have more testing coming for you guys real soon. I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Junior, out.